Are you in the business of engraving images on stone, wood, plastic or other materials? Are you frustrated with not always being able to get consistent results from your engraving? Then keep on watching. In this video series titled How to prepare images for engraving, we will spill the beans on ideology of image preparation for engraving. After watching this series, you might not become an instant Photoshop expert, but you will definitely understand why your images don't always look the way you wish and what needs to be done to improve the results. Why do we think that we are experts in image preparation for engraving? Because for over 10 years at ImageMart.com, we have been providing image editing services for hundreds of customers. It all started with my business, ImpactEtching.com, offering impact engraving machines to customers in US and Canada. Then after a while, I recognized that my customers need help preparing images for engraving, mostly portraits. So the advice you will see and hear in this video will be heavily biased towards engraving on stone, but I'm quite sure that the tips that we will provide will be helpful for any other material. In the first video of this series, I would like to talk about understanding limitations of technology you use and material you engrave. No matter what machine you use, no matter what material you engrave, there's at least three following constraints. One, your engraving will be monochrome. That means you will lose all the color information in your source image, and this will impact the uh, resolution in a sense because uh, information will be lost in process of engraving. Limitation number two, you will engrave the media that is inferior in terms of color resolution as well as details to paper or computer screen. Just like we've discussed in previous limitation, you will lose the color, but also the material you engrave will likely not have the same DPI resolution, how many details your eye is capable of distinguishing once engraving is complete. And the limitation number three, is that the material you will engrave will likely not be homogeneous. Uh, this applies to pretty much um, all of the granites. They are never smooth, black, polished granite. You will rarely get that type of material. Uh, granite quite often has sparkles, inclusions, grains. It's what's called in industry a uh, galaxy black, for example. And also you can um, you, you might end up having uh, to engrave red, blue, green granite, etc. So our, those inclusions in the stone or in any other material that you engrave. For example, I can imagine if you engrave wood, there will be a certain pattern in the wood. So those imperfections, they obviously add noise to your engraving and distort the perception of what you get. So what are the consequences of all these limitations? The major consequence is that every image needs to be prepared in a special way before engraving. What we typically do is we exaggerate the features, we do the color balancing, we do the um, improve the contrast, etc., etc. In particular portraits, you can rarely get a good result by engraving the portrait without special preparation. And all of this subsequent uh, video in, in this series will talk about how to prepare images for engraving. If you find this information useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates whenever we release new videos. In the video number two, we will talk about the terms we use in pre preparing images to engraving.